My name is Barry Allen, and I'm the fastest man alive. Well, except for Reverse Flash, and Black Flash, and Savitar, and Zoom, and... Welcome back, my name is Daniel of Mirror Bright Cosplay, and for today's video, I want to take you back to the year 2016. But because I'm not actually Barry Allen, we're not going to mess with this timeline, we'll just observe it. For Dragon Con of 2016, we wanted to cosplay as The Flash and Supergirl from the Arrowverse on TV. The original idea was to buy this cheap Flash costume from China and just wear that. But I also wanted to add a little bit of my own flair to the costume. And usually when I do that, it involves lighting. So I thought, why not make the suit light up? To make the suit light up, I decided to go with what's called EL wire. This stuff isn't at all like LED technology, it's completely different. But because it's in a stranded form like this, I would be able to adhere it to the suit in the seams of the jacket and pants to make it blend into the costume. And then when I turn it on, it just make it look like the suit's lighting up. I ended up buying eight of these orange strands of EL wire. Then I went and bought what's called an EL sequencer and I got that from SparkFun. Each eight of the EL wire strands went into the eight ports here on the sequencer. Then I wrote some Arduino code to randomize when each strand lit up. That way it looks like random lightning on the suit. This EL sequencer actually requires two batteries, one to actually run the board and then one to run the EL wire. That's one of the downsides to using EL wire is that it's very high voltage. So if you are to use a setup like this, please be careful and make sure that your battery pack is isolated from everything else and that your electronics are well insulated. So I want to show you more of a close up of all the parts and how they work together. Here we have the EL sequencer, which I showed before, and the eight ports where the eight EL wire strands would plug into. Right now, I have a 3.7 rechargeable battery plugged into the EL sequencer, and remember that is just to power the board, it doesn't power the lights at all. What powers the lights is this battery pack right here. It has eight AA batteries for a total of 12 volts, and then it's connected through this wire to this 12 volt inverter. Through this wire, it plugs into the EL sequencer, into this port, and these along with the code for the EL sequencer is all you'll need. You have your EL wire strands, the sequencer, the small battery for the EL sequencer, your big power supply for the lights, and then the inverter. With everything tied together, you just flip on the battery pack and you start flashing. You can only see the jacket right now, but if I had my whole suit on, everything would be flashing. Once we got all the electronics set up, we attached the wires to the suit using some invisible thread. It's almost exactly like fishing wire, so it's invisible, but you can still have the eel wire attached to the suit. But let me tell you, having the lights on the suit just made it stand out at Dragon Con, and it was so much fun getting to cosplay as the Flash with my wife as Supergirl. And that's it for this month's video. It, it was short and sweet, but I'm glad you were able to go back with me to 2016 and see how I put the lights on my flash suit. We're putting out videos once a month so we would love for you to like this video, subscribe, hit the bell, and to come back for more cosplay content. But until next time, gotta go fast.